All right, here we go on the way. Hornet feature. in the nine. This is his first ever race, mind you, in that nine car. up there in turn four. <laughs> and the car stopped. It's Wellington in the nine. Wilson Napier brings him down to the green. Here we go. Owens oh, in that second spot. Ryan Heyman in third, then it's Chandler Fleetwood and Dan Morgan. <coughs> Bones right on the back bumper. between here and Owens. Pedestrian feature to the shoot, please. with Napier. He sits about three car lengths behind him now. <laughs> well, 
Nathan. This is Ian Evans' chance to catch him. Nathan has got two cars ahead of him. Running down the foul. Well, they move up a little bit on the racetrack. That's going to allow Napier to get by. Look out. <laughs> now they got the newcomer, Wellington, ahead of him. <laughs> He'll move underneath him. Good move by your leader, Napier. <laughs> There'll be three to go this time. As Owens now a car length behind him again. No, a little bit of bumper tag by Owens. Owens and Napier go, no, I'm here. <laughs> Two to go. Out of turn two. White flag's gonna fly this time by. <laughs> Owens trailing inside. Napier shuts the door. We <laughs> see a bump and roll out of two. No. <laughs> oh, Gilly gets into a car turn number three in front of your leaders. <laughs> oh, he slides up in front of your leader. He's gonna win out Napier as Owens blew up coming in the line. So it didn't even matter. <laughs> so Owens blew it up coming to the line. Well, that was the turn of the victory lane stuff. You had a good battle there going. Jacob kind of a nudged it there and went into one a little bit, but I didn't know if you knew it. He blew up coming out of turn three there after the checker, so you won by a pretty good margin there. Looked like it got a little hairy there in lap traffic there. A couple of cars got together going into three. Did that kind of scare you a little bit coming to the checkers? Oh, it got me a little. I was uh, thinking, I was like, uh, I didn't know if Owens was still back there. So when coming out of the turn, when I saw uh, the P3C and Kerry get into it, uh, P3C started coming down the track, and I was just thinking, this is not how it's going to happen. <laughs> I was a little nervous. As at that time, though, Jacob blew up going into three. You had probably about a good 10, 11 car length advantage. I don't think it would have hurt you any, though. Still, I don't want to scratch my car. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to scratch your... A race car driver just said, I don't want to scratch my car, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, when you're up front, that usually doesn't happen, right? Yeah, just, you never know. Rough driving, you get through stuff. Hey, it's all good, though. Back in victory lane five time now. I'm trying to get six. I know you got a lot of people, crew, and sponsors you want to thank. Thank my dad, my mom, my grandpa. Uh, all my friends came out. Richie's Body and Paint, Fabricated Performance, Jay helping me out. Uh, working man's uh, lettering and sign. He put all those things on here. Ace cars for helping. Wagner's, uh, they're my buddies and <laughs> hung out with them a lot, but it's pretty good. I'm happy to get them back in Vitry Lane. All right, race fans, here's your Hornet feature winner once again this season here at Brownstown Speedway, Wesley Napier.